Hey, welcome back to Album April. It's April 6th, and today I listened to Physical Graffiti by Led Zeppelin. Apparently, the random number generator I'm using decided that I needed to listen to all the really, really long albums in the first week. This is another double album, even longer than The Wall, and the second longest album behind only Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. And its length is what leads me into the first question of the video. What was my first impression of this album? My first impression was, wow, these are some long songs. In fact, let's do a little math here. There are 15 songs on this album, and the total length is about 83 minutes. If you do the math, that means that every song on Physical Graffiti has an average length of over five and a half minutes. And full transparency, that fact is what made this album such a bad experience for me. I kind of hated listening to Physical Graffiti. It was like blood on the tracks from last year. The songs just went in circles for minutes on end. To be fair, most of the songs on their own aren't bad. But when you have all these songs, most of them feel about twice as long as they should be. And you put them all together, it just becomes a slog to get through. Most of the songs are paced terribly with so much padding and so much repetition. In fact, I'd go as far to say that about half of the tracks on Physical Graffiti just feel like album filler. Not all the songs are like that though. In fact, my favorite track from the album, In the Light, is paced a lot better than the rest of the songs. It actually has this rise and fall to it instead of just spinning its wheels for the whole time. The instrumentation on In the Light is really interesting, and overall I think it's a very good song. I also did like Cashmere, although that could have been about half as long. As for bad songs, I didn't enjoy listening to most of the songs from it, but I would say that for most of them, the worst you could say about it is that they're not particularly interesting, but one song I reserved some particular ire for, and that was In My Time of Dying, because it goes on for 11 minutes, though it feels like it goes on for a lot longer. And by the way, I find this very interesting. This is not an original song by Led Zeppelin. It's a cover. And another person who did a very popular cover of that song was Bob Dylan. Considering how much I hated Blood on the Tracks from last year, I didn't want to listen to any more Bob Dylan, but he found a way. I said in my Hotel California review that having an album with fewer longer songs makes it feel so much longer than if it has more shorter songs, and I did not know how right I was until I listened to Physical Graffiti. I consider myself a pretty patient music listener. Considering the albums I've already listened to this year, I hope that's evident, but this was too much for me. It's almost kind of poetic how with Led Zeppelin 4, the most famous song was Stairway to Heaven, but with Physical Graffiti, the most famous song from it is arguably Cashmere, which was inspired by driving through a desert for hours. So if you asked me, does Physical Graffiti hold up as an album, I have to say no. It's too boring, it's too repetitive, it's too homogenous, it's a slog to get through. And if you did like this album... I'm glad that you were able to get more enjoyment out of it than I did. Thanks for listening.